Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to clean up motion capture data using Peel Solve in Autodesk Maya. First thing you need to do is uh, have the plugin loaded, so Windows, Setting Preferences, Plugin Manager, and make sure the Peel Solve plugin is loaded. And then if it is loaded, you should have uh, Import Peel C3D option here that will allow you to import the C3D data. Uh, I've set the scale to quite a small number because this is recorded in meters or something, there's some kind of weird scale issue going on. You want to set the scale values so that the top marker on the head is uh, around about 160 or 170 when you have your preferences set to centimeters. Okay, you're always working in real world units here. Now we're gonna, uh, I'm going to go to the Peel Solve menu and go um, set marker properties here and change the markers to being circles because that's easier to look at when you're doing mocha mo cleanup and we're also going to change the color a little bit as well. So uh, the next thing is we want to draw lines between them. It's going to be pretty hard to tell what he's doing and where the swaps and everything are without having lines on them. So we're going to go to um, uh, uh, load, load the mocap cleanup module and then use it to draw lines between them. So first thing we can import the mocap cleanup Python module and then uh, run mocap cleanup dot shelf which will bring up the mocha, peel mocap tools shelf and then mocap cleanup dot keys will assign keyboard shortcuts to home end page up page down and number eight will be overwritten which are not defined by Maya by default um, I don't believe uh, if you do have something to find to them, it will get overwritten, so be careful running that command. So, uh, the next thing is we're going to bring up the marker set GUI, import, import mocap cleanup dot marker set as ms, and then ms dot GUI as a command. Bring that up. I'll probably have that as a shelf up here at some point. Um, not sure what that's going to look like yet. So we bring up the uh, marker set GUI and uh, we want to draw lines between this guy, so we've got to select the marker set here as being Arena, which was the uh, what this was recorded on back in the day, and then it finds the prefix, and then we're going to click Draw Lines. So having those lines are really useful because you can see where the problems are immediately. You can see that this leg isn't connected properly. You can check this is, should be the thumb that's sticking out from here, so if this line comes down forwards, the thumb isn't pointing backwards at this pose, so you'd need to make sure that you'd fix that swap. Um, the first thing I'd do once I've got it imported, before I really go too to, to through fixing many swaps and that kind of thing, is just visually inspect each of the markers. So Windows, General, Editors, Animation, Graph Editor, and go through each of the markers and inspect them, visually inspect them uh, to see if there's any problems. Okay, so this is an issue here, and you can fix that by pressing the number 8 key will uh, do extract selected, or pressing that button there. And uh, I'm, I'm getting some help now. Okay, so I think I'm going to, the kid's up, so I think I'm going to cut this demo off, and uh, I'll continue on in the next session. But that's uh, importing motion capture data in and uh, first pass of cleaning up in Autodesk Maya.